to mention they help you develop grip strength and make your major muscle groups work together at the same time. No other workout does that. Love it. Love it. Love it how she's explaining. She starts dancing and moving. Remember what Sean Mosen said. A lot of people use light weights to do interpretive dancing. Maybe Sean was secretly following Angelica's workouts. <laughs> Grüezi Vertrand, Gregory von Lebestag here. We're all about kettlebells, so if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. One of our subscribers sent me this video. It looks like a gem. Let's see what Angelica, the Greek goddess, does with the kettlebell. Not only are we working out to look great, uh -huh. but we are becoming functionally stronger. So what does that mean to become functionally stronger? I don't use the term functional anymore because many people abuse it to sell their programs. And I use the word applicable or practical. You will have a lot of skill transfer into many different sports or activities. And that's what the kettlebell does. One TV. I don't want to just look good. I want to feel a balance of strength and stability in my body. Fitness expert and champion dancer. I'd be highly interested to know in what particular branch of dancing Angelica is a champion in. Maybe the standards, you know, Latin dances, salsa or waltzer or whatever. And now she's a fitness expert as well. Sometimes I'm a little bit... I was a bit careful when people who come from different backgrounds now suddenly become fitness experts. This is unlike any other kettlebell workout because I'm taking both traditional and non-traditional kettlebell exercises and seamlessly connecting them to give you a quick and efficient full body workout. Oh, let's get it done. I'm highly excited. Not only the traditional, but also the untraditional ones. A short kettlebell workout can be more efficient than going for a run. Not to mention, they help you develop <laughs> grip strength and make your major muscle groups work together at the same time. <laughs> no other workout does that. Love it. Love it. Love it how she's explaining. She starts dancing and moving. Remember what Sean Mosen said. A lot of people use light weights to do interpretive dancing. Maybe Sean was secretly following Angelica's workouts. Boom! Oh, there's like battlefield, man. Oh, some solid production, man. Welcome to this raw, edgy, prehistoric world for a hardcore kettlebell workout that's guaranteed to give you the strength, power, and definition of a warrior. <laughs> this is next level. This is next level. So crazy CGI. I think Lucas Arts was involved in this. And I like the press. The press was solid. Boom. The press was so solid that it led to an eruption and explosion of a volcano behind her or maybe she's the volcano and the kettlebell erupted keep an eye on the calorie counter in the top left corner of the screen and the heart rate monitor in the top right corner of the screen everybody burns a different amount of calories when they work out or when they train and everybody has a different heart rate to a certain extent keeping eye on your heart rate especially if your doctor recommends it i think it is a good thing to do but keeping eye keeping an eye on your calories that leads to the fact that people are like well i'm just working out to get the feeling and to burn the calories and then they automatically think well now i can eat more and i hate to tell you but Working out or training doesn't burn a lot of calories. Walking burns a lot of calories. High intensity exercise to a degree where it's unhealthy, where it burns extra calories, it may be that it has a detrimental effect for longevity. So that means that you won't do it as, as long and then you miss all the benefits if you stop working out. Bending in a tabletop position with a flat back, then gently squeezing the glutes and lifting the torso up in one piece. This is a hinge. 100% solid. And your arms will start to thread the kettlebell between sides in a figure eight pattern. We are doing this for one minute starting now. 
Well, actually, I like this idea. The reason why I like this idea is if it's not done with a lot of ballistics, then I think these controlled movements, the controlled figure eight, I actually think it's a great or a better idea than swinging it back and forth. Because when you swing the kettlebell back and forth, especially when the weight gets heavier, it may be that you start rotating your lower back. And as we all know, if we start continuously rotating the lower back without having that layer of strength that we need, this may cause problems. Okay. Plunge back with your right leg, pulse, and high kick. Set foot back and lunge, pulse, kick, reset. We are repeating this for 45 seconds. Reason why I would think they include the kick is because they want a small stretch of the hammies because in the lunge you are shifting the focus more on the quads. The kick is something that I don't think it's necessary and may cause trouble for people who have a little bit of problem standing on one leg only. Maybe they need to build up that layer of strength before they start standing on one leg. Bicep curls once again for 25 seconds. Now I've seen the old strongman guys do it with watering cans. Ladislaus Pitlasinski was one of the guys who actually pioneered this type of exercise. And even Uncle Vanya, who was the prolific, most prolific kettlebell writer of his time, his name was Lebedev, back in the start of the 20th century, he also advocated for curls. You can do curls, of course, but is it the best use of your time? I think that's always the question. I came up with this description that I call the Effort to benefit ratio. You put a lot of effort in, so how much benefit are you getting out of it? Doing biceps curls, I don't think is for most people an exercise that is needed. I'd rather use an exercise that connects more muscle groups where your body has to work more in harmony together. This is where I'm coming from. It's not a bad exercise, but I don't think an effort to benefit ratio is presented to people who think I wanna get in shape, I wanna get lean. Maybe a clean would have been a better option where you have to use some of your hips so with where well, you bring the kettlebell in the backswing bring it up and then cleaning it and of course we always have to talk about the weight of the kettlebell if you have a lighter weight yes you can do curls but imagine you have a heavier one 2024 suddenly it gets impossible to curl that weight then you have to switch the weight so yeah these are just some thoughts that you want to think about when you engage in this type of workout and when you are putting together your exercise selection i'm squeezing my elbows together and then pushing the weight off my body then I <laughs> does this as well i love it you know what <laughs> That's what we guys love when women do, when women do this, right? Is that they play with their emotions, they play with the female aspect, and then the guys are hooked and like, whoa! <laughs> we guys were like, okay, gotta gotta do this, and women be like, huh? What we're is going to continue alternating like this for 45 seconds, starting now. Now, what is the result? When she's crunching down, I think they're only focusing on the core. And that's always something that I'm having some form of a problem with with most of these workouts where people are always focused on the core and the abdominals because they know people want it. But at the end of the day, if you want your abs to show, it's all about nutrition. If you want to strengthen your abdominals, swings, clean snatches, this give you the best bang for your buck. Now, in this case, I think the halo is a great warm up exercise in that regard. But what I would love to see is that she does a huge motion she says it's not supposed to be a circular motion or we have to do this diagonal stuff now the reason why you want to do a huge motion like this is because you want to open up your t-spine and you want to open up your shoulders many people are tight in the t-spine tight in the shoulders next we are going to do a clean and catch squat and overhand grip and lift the kettlebell using momentum to grab it at the base of the horns stretching the legs shift the grip back into an overhanded grip as you squat back down it's funny that she calls it a clean and catch i would just call it a clean because clean means you bring the weight up to your chest and then you rack the weight and you can rack the weight either with a single hand or with both hands so it's just a clean and i like it it's a great exercise overhand grabbing with the other hand so both hands are on the kettlebell for 30 seconds starting now it's interesting that she calls it a squat i will call it a deadlift a lot of influencers and workouts that i see they don't make the distinction and i think it is important to make the distinction between a deadlift and a squat and the curtsy lunge yeah i love the curtsy lunge it's advanced but i love it the base of the horns and curl it in Ooh. 
You see? <laughs> Angelica, fitness export. You got to be careful. Now we have to be careful with this. Why am I showing this? I say it so many times. Respect the weight and use your biggest muscles to drop and maneuver the kettlebell. This means you're hinging. I don't care, like I say so many times, whether it's a 48 or an 8 kg. We want to develop good habits, good practice, that we always use the legs when we maneuver and lift or put kettlebells down. So I like the exercise selection. This counter right here, 288 calories, I guarantee you it's totally misleading. You never burn as much, of a, as much calories in that type of workouts. Yet uh, her form, yeah, is, is fine. Uh, I would have loved to see some ballistics, but maybe that's a workout that's dedicated for some beginner aspects, which is great. So yeah, there you have it. The Greek goddess handling the kettlebell on the top of the mountain with a lot of hubris, and she's sending fire from the kettlebell. She's like a volcano, boom, bang, when she does a press, that's what's up. <laughs> the world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck whenever you pick up a kettlebell. If you understand them correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. If you are a beginner, this task might be understandably confusing. Enter the hybrid style and discover how to combine the best of both worlds. The hybrid style masterclass is a 10 week practice based online course that will help you take your kettlebell skills to an elite level made in Switzerland. Learn what's been holding you back and how to become a versatile kettlebell master without having to piece together countless YouTube videos or rely on a gym membership. The price of the hybrid style masterclass is 397 US dollars per month for three months. Save 20% with a one-time payment of 997 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new students every three months. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.